and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Ludai. Right, thank you. Uh, welcome everyone to the RISC-V Taipei Day. Uh, I'm Ludai. I'm the chairman of the board for RISC-V International. Um, today's topic is uh, all AI themed, so I have put together a short slide deck for AI. Um, but a lot of the information, you probably have heard that before. Uh, my focus is to talk about why RISC-V is a good fit uh, for AI. Uh, if you feel some of the information is redundant, then we have done our job. We have convinced you it is a good fit. So let's see. Um, well, what is RISC-V? I think everybody here should already know what is RISC-V, but uh, one thing I want to point out is Risk five being the, the V, the five, is because risk has been the ISA, uh, uh, all established ISA. So it came from a long history of the uh, famous uh, computing pioneers. So all the way go back to the MIPS, Spark, and all those processors, including um, our friend me uh, ARM, is also based on risk. Uh, RISC V is merely uh, the latest iteration of this architecture, and the latest and greatest. Um, so, for RISC V International, I just want to briefly talk about our organization. This is a international standards organization. Uh, we have a lot of uh, members, both from the industry side, the academia side, as well as individual members. Um, our membership has been growing like crazy. Uh, you know, every year you, you saw more and more members joining, and uh, we are actually, you know, having trouble to keep this slide up to date. Um, all the time we need to go back to see, you know, every conference, we, we need to see if the number is still correct, because it's keep on adding. Um, we also have a strong ecosystem. Uh, we have um, all the uh, um, softwares, uh, the boards, the tool chains. So this is a kind of like an eye chart, but you can actually see this chart on our RISC-V International website, and also listed uh, a lot of those um, companies that are providing uh, the hardware as well. So uh, it might be hard for you to actually zoom in to see this thing, but it is available on our website as well. Um, talking about AI, um, I just thought it might be a little bit interesting to see what is AI defined by asking ChatGPT. So uh, I just copied down what ChatGPT said, what AI is. Um, but of course, just like any AI uh, Q&A, if you uh, go to ChatGPT right now, they probably give you a different answer uh, because if so many people ask for it. Um, one thing that uh, kind of want to point out what this AI is, it does need to create a system that provides a, uh, a task that typical human beings is doing, but the machines is going to be able to do better. Um, but this also includes a very specific task, and the task that needs a specialized skill. And from that perspective, you know, if you look at some of the typical AI algorithm, you have the custom, autom custom automation that um, nowadays, you know, because AI is so hot, you know, people say they have the AI capability. And a lot of times I look at it is they have the capability before. It's just, you know, it used to be called automation and now it's called AI. Um, but they are also the, the, what I consider it's more authentic AI that you actually has a specific machine learning algorithm behind it. And those are not your typical uh, pro regular expression comparison, that kind of things that people also call that AI. Um, but a lot of those AI algorithms, they also have their own custom recipes. So different AI software companies, different vendors, they provide a specialization in their algorithm. So that presents a challenge that the AI software vendors, they would like to have their own hardware so that it can both make their software work better as well as protect some of the intellectual properties of their software algorithm. So here is why, you know, the RISC five could fit in. But you know, just some typical example, I mean the most famous one is the OpenAI, ChatGPT, and the NVIDIA uh, front. But one thing I want to point out is part of NVIDIA's success is actually their CUDA software ecosystem. So just keep that in mind. But coming back to the hardware side, why we say RISC-V is fit for AI, is the best fit for AI. 
I think Frank Well in his opening uh, remarks already talked about RISC V as a standard. It is an open standard. It is a single standard that we can all be compliant to it, and it's also an international standard, so you have access. Um, but from a technical perspective, RISC V as an ISA, from the very beginning when it was developed, it was developed as a customizable ISA. Uh, Frank well mentioned the, all the extensions. So those custom extensions allow you to have a base ISA that you can have the compatibility across a whole slew of uh, hardware uh, vendors, but you also allow a custom extensions that has to, to handle the specialized capability. And within the custom extensions, there is a difference between an approved extension by the standards body versus a custom extension by the vendor themselves. So that approach allows the AI vendors to produce a hardware which has a baseline compatibility across all RISC-V, but also have some special tweaks that is uh, special for their particular customers and algorithms so they can show their differentiations. Now, that is extremely important in the, 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 the area of AI because there's so many AI vendors, uh, the, the AI software providers, they are looking into making hardware or they are getting custom, custom hardware mainly because they want to show differentiation. And RISC-V as an ISA from the very beginning, it was designed for a custom accelerator. Now, going back, now we can say that RISC-V is designed for AI, but in reality, when we started RISC-V ISA, we were not really thinking about AI, but we were thinking about having RISC-V ISA to be more um, applicable for a custom accelerator. So AI is just one of the custom accelerator. Um, it's not on this, these slides, but I just want to briefly mention from the RISC-V International's board, we actually, from technology perspective, identified a few areas for us to uh, prioritize on. AI is definitely one of them. The other one is uh, automotive. And then the third one is security. Now, if you look at AI and automotive, it's both a very, very hot market. There's a lot of demand, there's a high growth there. But if you look at AI and security, both of them actually fits our custom extension very well. AI, you need the custom algorithm that the hardware, software, uh, you know, working together. Uh, for security, there's a lot of uh, uh, custom security algorithm that might be demanded by different regional governments. Uh, a lot of countries' government, they want their own country security chip to implement some special algorithm uh, for their own purpose. So that's also a very good fit for uh, RISC-V. So coming back, you know, it is because of it's a custom, uh, uh, it's a special fit for a custom accelerator. Um, now also because RISC-V is a very new um, ISA, um, its adoption is expanding very fast. For AI being the, the, the new, um, new um, you know, new child on the block, and everybody is uh, wanting to get into it, RISC-V being a new ISA allows us to uh, include the latest technology uh, in our uh, baseline. Um, I think we shared those slides before in Frank Wells' opening as well. I, one thing I want to point out is uh, these slides are from this um, a group called SHD. Uh, they do the market analysis. Um, you may not believe the, uh, the numbers, or how accurate that is, but one thing about the market analysis is look at the trend. Don't look at the exact numbers. But the trend you can see, risk 5 is definitely growing. And if you look at the, the different bar charts, I think it's uh, hard to see the actual uh, difference, but I can tell you the highest bar is AI. Now, if you look at the, the other slide where we're talking about, so this is talking about, I believe it's the percentage market shipment. Um, yeah, so, so it sees from a growth perspective, you know, AI also, again, has the highest growth. I believe I have another slide. Yeah, so this slide is talking about market penetration. So it's very interesting to see, you know, not only risk 5 is growing the fastest, but if you look at the bar on the left-hand side, you see the green bar, the high green bar, it is actually the AI. And then the next step, there's a red bar also is very high. It actually is 
automotive. So you can see those are the two areas that, that ha have the highest growth. But if you look at the penetration perspective, the estimate is AI penetration for RISC-V that by 2030, more than 50% of the AI chip will be uh, powered by RISC-V. So just keep that in mind. This is one of the things that we are looking at it. Um, just to uh, kind of uh, wrap, wrap it up, you know, because we are the newest technology that allows us to include all the latest and greatest because of the openness, you know, we are all talking about AI as the, the technology that we want to let everybody have access as an open international standards, that's also a good fit for it. Um, our te technical uh, aspect of the risk the modularity fits AI very well and we have a worldwide ecosystem. And um, so, you know, RISC-V, we have an ecosystem, we have a great ISA, and uh, we'd like to welcome all your uh, partnerships and your innovations. Uh, we go from a technology development, now goes into a commercial adoptions. And let's bridge the gap from the technology to commercial, and let's not lose a sight of our end customers. And that's why we want to see everybody to not only looking at the technology side, but thinking about what your customer needs, and uh, let's work together. Thank you.